welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, today we are going to start by cutting our grass. Uh, both our fields, I think, should be ready to harvest. We'll know for sure when we get over there. If not, well, I guess we'll wait till morning. But I think they're ready to harvest. And then... Actually, can we... Will this attach to the baler? I know I had thought about it. But if we can harvest and bail. Oh my gosh. I'm doing the thing with the camera. Uh, turn that on. It will. Ooh, this could be cool. This could be cool. We definitely might ought to get the um, one of the quick bales or the fast bale. That'll wrap two and do it all in one motion. That would be real cool if this works out well. Uh, or a lot of tail whip. A lot of tail whip with this setup. Um, yes, we're going to go mow the grass, bale it, wrap it for silage, get that out of the way, and then we I want to cultivate that whole area because we bought the two fields. I want to combine them into one field, get it cultivated, spread lime, um, get it reseeded with grass, Get it fertilized, you know, all the fun stuff. We eventually are going to need a grass roller, but we won't need that until after the next harvest because, yeah, it'll be fine. Because usually you do, I'll do the grass roller right after we harvest. That way, because when you do the grass roller, it sets it back to growth stage one. And if you just harvested, you're not really m losing out a lot. Like if we were to oops, yeah, just slide it sideways, that's fine. Um, if we were to roll this with the grass roller right now, it would go back to stage one. And that is not what we want. Okay. We're on swaths dropping. If I can remember to write buttons. So I guess I'm going to try to not back up as much as possible while we're doing this. I wonder if this this should have enough horsepower. We're going to find out. We're going to find out today. This is, hold on, let me make sure that is, yes, ready to harvest. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't in growth stage three. I could have sworn we'd gone to bed since then, but I wanted to verify. All right, so you go down. If I hit the right buttons, it would really help. You go on. Nope, it stalled it. Nope. Or did that turn on both? No, it didn't turn on a baler. It doesn't have a PTO. No, it's just sitting there. It won't run the baler. It'll just tow things. Okay. Let's... Hold on. Not you. I'll lift this up. Just so I can get this baler out of our way. Do, 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 do. No. Yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be a struggle. All right, we're going to go forward and just loop it around and set it somewhere. And then I will mow this and then go get a tractor. Oh, I still hit the thing. Go get a tractor to uh, bale it, wrap it, get the bales picked up. And then I'll probably just do that all with a quickness. And then... Um, We'll check out what we need for cultivating and doing all that fun stuff. So I will see you shortly.
Okay, so plants have changed a little bit. I saw this was ready to harvest and we could afford it. No, not that we could afford it. I had the cash in hand to be able to buy it. And I decided, well, if we're combining fields today, might as well really make it worth it. But now that we have a larger field, I um, I want to do a little equipment exchange. I want to get a baler that has a wrapper with it. And also I want to see about getting potentially a new tractor. We'll have to see what we can get for the tractors that we have. But if we sell two of our tractors and the baler and the wrapper, that should give us a little bit of cash to play with. Plus I was thinking about taking out that loan. I didn't already take out a loan on this, did I? Did we already take out a loan? Oh yeah, we do have a loan out. Okay, so we already took off that loan. So we're not gonna take out a loan because $100,000 was the max that I wanted to do for a loan. So I still, I wanna sell two of the tractors and a baler and a wrapper and see about uh, at least two of the tractors. See about getting a baler with a wrapper and see about potentially selling all three tractors and getting a new tractor. We'll have to see what we get for everything though. So I will go ahead and get all of this equipment over to the store. I'm going to um, get it all hooked up together and uh, use the follow me mod because I installed that recently. And I think I can make it work. So. Do, 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 do. All right, what we'll do. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll get all this equipment hooked up. Get it convoyed over to the, um, the store. And then I will see you at the store while we're making purchasing decisions. See you soon. Okay, well, after a little bit of messing about, I got that to work, so that's cool. I have used the uh, the follower, follow me, um, once, and that was only with one follower. Where was this? Where is this trigger? I know it's around here somewhere. Trigger, trigger, where, oh, literally right in front of me. Right at the corner. Okay. Good to know. Boop. Alright. So if we repair. Repaint. 
sell you. And then the white one this is the one that I want to sell, right? Yes. So we definitely want to sell the white one. And may or may not want to sell the green one. We'll have to see. I got to see how many horsepower it has versus what we can afford. Um, let me turn that right off. That's fine. All right. So repair for a dollar. Repaint. Sell that bale wrapper. Repaint. Repair. Sell you. Yeah, see, we're only at 62,000. We're not, not cruising very good. Not looking like we're going to be able to get another tractor. But we should be able to get the bell. Baler slash wrapper. Because I think the one is only 60,000. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, that's not very much for that tractor. But if we repair you, repaint you, sell it. So we now have 70,000. Might as well repair this while we're right here. Then we'll go ahead into the shop, buy a baler. Do, 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 do. Do, do, there we go. We'll buy one of these quick bales. Quick, quick bale. Quick, quick bale. Uh, wheels are fine. We'll go. Uh, yeah, we'll probably. Yeah, just go no brand. Work area visual assist we don't need. Rear hitch. I don't know that we're going to need a rear hitch on this. Is there any? Oh, hold on. So it's left, right, both. Ah, so you can hook up. Potentially, to drag the, we don't have room for it on this map, but you could potentially drag the, um, the bell loader. You could potentially drag an offset bell loader behind it. And so then when the bales came out, they could go directly into the loader. But we're not going to go with that. Silage additive tank. Yes, please. Foil color is fine. Let's go with... Well, that's not a bad looking color. And then maybe a standard... No, that's not standard. Chromium. Yeah, how about not? Yeah, there we go. That looks good for a rim. Yeah, that's a good looking baler. Why not? We'll buy that. Do 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 do. Buy you. And then we might as well actually while we're here buy a pallet of silage additive. Yes, we have just enough money to buy that. And now we were basically set up to make silage, which is good because we're going to need the silage to get money to be able to do literally anything else. That's okay. That's... Oh, shit. I thought I reset that. Apparently I didn't. And all the stuff just got delivered to the house. Well, you know what that means. Let's us just go to the house as well. Is it out here in the yard? Yeah, there it is. So, what we can do... I thought I had reset that. I meant to reset it when we got out of the tractor and then I was dealing with the other tractors. Boop. We're gonna reset that. Yep. Okay. There, now it's here. 
Huzzah! The miracles of modern medicine. No, it didn't make sense. It's not supposed to make sense. These are just jokes. This is a very dirty tractor. Alright. Can we refill this from here? No, I think it actually needs to be on the other side. Which, it'd be nice if the covers came off and you could actually see. Oh, actually, you know what? I think you can see kind of down in there next to the rollers. There's the silage additive. It's like a little, it's like a jug. A little, tiny little hose coming out of it. Like, it's in there. Let me get up here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Right there. Uh, right there. A little jug with a tiny little hose coming out of it. That is what our silage additive goes into. That's why it has to be at this corner to fill it. Do, 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 do. Can we lift the covers on this? I don't think we can. No. Because the, these big plastic pieces on the side actually lift right up. So that you can see all the gearing and you can clear jams and all that. And you would be able to open this up to fill it. Which that would be nice if it had that. But that's okay that it doesn't. Boop. There we go. And then we'll refill. And this will take an hour to sit here and fill each one of these tiny little jars. Into that. The bon silage. So, how was your day? How are things going? I hope they're going well for you. Very glad that you're here. One day I'll stop being neurotic and start making actual good good monetary decisions, good decisions for the farm. But that day is not today. It's a pretty good view. We've got several minutes to kill while it fills up. Okay, here we go. We've got stuff to do. Let's go. All right. We want to make sure. Let me turn my back on the UI. Okay. So we're on 125 centimeter um, bales. Automatic drop is on. So that is good. We're not going to get run over. So that is also good. I really like this tractor. I wonder what it would take to buy this brand new. So I don't want to just keep throwing money at it as it falls apart. Because this is the one that had like the 225 hours on it or whatever it was. So we'll look that up at some point. But it's going to be a while before we have money to do anything. Because we're down to less than $5,000. We're not going to be making money today. We're going to be making silage today. And then we'll make money when we can sell the silage in a few days. But that's okay. We don't need money today. What we need to do is get these uh, baled and wrapped. Get those bales off the field. And then I don't know if we're even going to have time to cultivate today. That'll be the next step. Let's cultivate this whole big area. Get it replanted. All that fun jazz. Alright, let's unfold you. There we go. Okay. And then we can get to doing. We can get to getting. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And I will see you on the flip side.
Yeah, so driving in circles with no real rhyme or reason seems to have worked out, I guess, in the end. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about it, and the real crap thing about having sold all my other tractors means that I've got to do all the cultivating and seeding and stuff myself when we do that. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Smart's decisions were not necessarily made. Hmm. Let's actually see. Real quick. I know we cannot buy one. But. What do we have? So we've got the Vulture Q Q305, which is, that's a T series, that's a Q series. So this is a Q225. 305 the biggest, yeah. Q305 with a front mount. Why do we need a front mount? We probably don't. The weight be good? Uh, what would we want it for? Trying to think of what we need. Basically, it's to run the baler. Yeah, the weight might actually be good. We'll set up wide tires. Wide tires will wear. Oh, twins all around. Narrows. I like the look of the wides, especially on this tractor. It just looks really nice. Sky view. No, we don't need that. Reverse drive. Ooh, you can do reverse driving on these. Nice. Second door, panoramic window. There are so many options on these. GPS. Yes. No, no, probably not. That's fine. Leave it colored like it is. Because it probably costs a lot to change. Yeah. So if we were to leave that. Just like that. How much would it be to lease that? I oh, you're not even gonna give me a price? Alright, what if we go down to base? What does a base model one of these cost to lease? Two hundred and two thousand. We still don't have enough money to even lease it. So I was wondering if we even if we took out a small like ten thousand dollar loan just to start leasing it. Leasing one, um, maybe even sell ours and start leasing a new one. And then once we made enough money to buy it, just pay it off. Um, maybe, I mean, that is very realistic. Leasing, leasing some farm equipment and then, you know, not owning the things that you own. Super American. I know it's not an American map, but that's a super American thing to do. I don't know how it is everywhere else, but most people don't own most, most of the stuff that they own. Especially houses, cars, big implements like tractors, you know, things like that. Nothing like getting a bajillion dollars in debt on a brand new farm and then seeing if we can get ourselves out of debt. You know, like a smart person. Anyway, with all of that, yes, debt is a, a part of life. That's all it is. But, with all that said, today what we're going to do is go pick up these bales. We're going to go pick up these bales, and then next time we will uh, get this grass field uh, cultivated and sown and fertilized and rolled and all the good bits. And if we wait, I want to wait until this silage is ready to sell to do any of that. That way we can see what we make off the silage. And then, then we'll determine kind of what 
I'm going to do as far as if we take out another small loan and get a new tractor. We're going to get a new tractor here at some point one way or the other. Um, by hook or by crook. Just because the consistent um, having to repair this thing is going to stink. How many horsepower is this? This is 305. So to get another 305 horsepower tractor is going to be, yes, ridiculously expensive. We could do it with the uh, Massey Ferguson, but that's going to cost 242000 It's a nice looking tractor too. But with the wide tires, that looks real good. Uh, could have been a little wider. You got a wide too? Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's better. That looks good. This is a good looking tractor. Anyway. Yeah, it's going to be damn pricey to replace this with something comparable. But... We now have a much bigger field, and then once we get this fully worked up to, um, do we have a, uh, ta -ta, yeah, we'll run that mulcher blade in here too, because I think that this will just keep the mulched, um, field state. Potentially. So we'll mulch it. And then cultivate. And then... We'll spread lime on at least this part of the field. And then... Oh, that was dumb. Uh, do, 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 spread lime. We gotta roll it. Fertilize it. We won't need to do anything else. And then at that point, we should have, we should be making a really decent amount of silage every harvest. Because this is legit a pretty big space. And it wouldn't be bad to buy this other little field here next to us. What is growing over there right now? What's growing next to us? Barley? Yes. So there's barley right there. And then I'd like to buy one or the other. Probably 197. That's 44,000. That's 65,000. Probably this one and expand our wheat field at some point. Why are we growing wheat? I don't know. Just because that's what was there. This one needs a little help. We're going to have to roll it down the hill. Bloop. There we go. Just gave it a little roll. A little shove. It's all she took. Alright. But yes. Once we get this fully up and making good grass... It should make a substantial amount. And then, yeah, if we expand that wheat field, we might turn it into something else. I don't know, or just start rotating through crops just to grow something different. Because the crops, all we're doing is growing for cash. It's just cash crops. Because we want to make money to buy those woods. We need, what was it, three quarters of a million dollars? cash in pocket and then we can start stripping all of those woods that'll be fun that'll be fun ah so we're probably gonna want 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did this to myself. Probably gonna want about one to one and a quarter million in our pocket when we do that. Because we're gonna want to buy at least one piece of decent logging equipment. And all of the logging equipment is stupid expensive. So if we get a if we get a harvester, how much does a harvester cost? 150,000, I think, is the cheapest one. Something like that. Where? There we go. Forestry machines. 435. If we get a excavator with a harvester head, 150,000 for an excavator. And then if we get a dangle head, da, 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 you, but you, is another 45,000 for a dangle processor head. Um, so that's two hundred thousand dollars, and then another, yeah. So with the processor head, and then the, um, then a grapple to load them into a truck. Pretty expensive. All right, that's well down the road. We need to make a lot of money before we get there. So we'll. Have a little bit of an adventure between here and there but i think i'm gonna call that a day we um bought a field sold some equipment bought some equipment and made some silage that sounds like a good day yes yes well i will see you next time thank you so much for watching and uh Eventually, we will start doing something real fun on here, I think. Hopefully, that's the plan. Stick around and find out, anyway. Have a wonderful day. Bye.